This is a uh, guide for getting access to the uh, groups. Um, this is the main KrugerNet login screen. And once you log in, you will see something like this. And over at the right, in the top, you'll notice there is the groups icon. You'll want to uh, click on that and that will get you um, access okay so it pops up a window and it shows you if you have groups already you'll notice I am a part of a few different groups <coughs> and uh, but if you're not a part of the group you can click up here to group index groups index and then you'll notice um, here are a list of different categories. The one we want is academic, but instead of clicking just on the academic word, okay, this um, is not what we're looking for. We want under academic, if you click on this little arrow, it opens the classes uh, part, and that's what we want to click on to access our um, class list. All right. Here you'll notice there's General Chemistry 2, General Chemistry 1, Intro to General Chemistry. All right, depending on what class you're in, uh, you're going to want to uh, click on that respective group. Okay? Now, um, I uh, already am a member of these uh, chemistry groups, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go click on this organic chemistry one. I'm not a member of that group. And then you'll notice it pops up a, uh, a little note. Welcome to Dr. Norwood's organic chemistry lecture and lab. Um, it'll say something different, but uh, you click on join group. And then um, here you will see... Um, uh, it's up here. Okay, here we have a... Uh, a box with some uh, a membership policy. You're supposed to read that and then you click that you have read it and then here there's the join button. Okay, Once you click on the join button you see a box appears says you're now a member of that group. Okay, You click OK and then it takes you to that group home page. Right? So here on out when you log into groups, you're going to see that group among your list. Okay. Now, um, for uh, I'm going to look at the um, intro to chemistry group. All right, intro general chemistry. That's the group that you want to use, uh, that you want to become a member of for the intro class. You'll notice here on the left there are several links, and then on the right there um, uh, well we'll see it in a moment but uh, let's look at files that's uh, the main thing that we use this for and you'll notice Mr. Wright and I both have a uh, uh, directory under intro chemistry and then over here is the files list All right, there's a couple of uh, generic things in there uh, syllabus and lab schedule um, that are not specific to either of us but if you click again you have that same uh, the same way it works if you click on the name itself then you get one list of files that's like the main uh, directory but then if you click on the arrow it shows you the subdirectories okay so click on the arrow and then um, here there are some uh, some various materials that may be useful to you. Uh, for example, the exams. Um, and I may reorganize this a little bit from time to time. But uh, these are the exams from, uh, from last semester. I have keys to the exams um, as well as an actual copy of an exam there. Most of these are keys, a couple of quizzes. And then you can see I've posted the key to the current uh, semester, spring 11, uh, first exam key. If you click on that, um, 
you see a, uh, a window where you have to specify whether you want to open or save. That's up to you. Um, you will need Adobe Acrobat to open PDF files. Uh, most of the files that I have on here are PDF files. And so you just uh, click OK. I'm just going to open this. I'm not going to save it. And then once, once it opens, here is um, the, the file. Okay. So this is the key for the exam that we just had a couple of weeks ago. All right. All four uh, pages of it. There, not a whole lot of explanation. I left that part to uh, to YouTube. Hopefully, that will be useful to you. You can go to YouTube.com and get my uh, explanation of the solution there. All right, but I just wanted to show you um, how you go about uh, accessing the files that I have on on groups. Okay, and you can also. Uh, look at what Mr. Wright has. He has um, a variety of information here as well. Um, and uh, you know, he has some study materials that may be useful uh, to you. He has some, uh, uh, some other materials here. So you may find both his uh, information and my information. I have different study materials, some study guides that I've written uh, last semester. All of that is uh, available here in the uh, intro chemistry group. All right. I hope this has been helpful.